everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kathy's Random Acts of Stampin'. I'm so glad that you were able to join me today. And whether you're watching this when it first premieres or if you're watching uh, later on in a preview or a, a replay is what I should say, um, welcome in. I'm so glad that you're here. Also, I have a contest going on right now. And if you are one of my subscribers, if you will go to the video that um has this flyer on it. Let me pull this and show it to you. It's the 5,000 subscriber giveaway, and we will draw the winner on September the 7th, which is a week from today. And the prize is going to be the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And it's a brand new machine, still in the box, just like it was shipped to me from Stampin' Up. And this is such a little workhorse, and it fits on your desk, and it's just a convenient little machine to have in your arsenal. Now, I've, I've said this over and over, if you can only afford to purchase one machine, I say opt for the big one because it does it does not limit you with what you can do. The small one, you are limited to dies that will fit in the perimeter of the, um, the mats, which are like this. These are your plates. So you can see you have a, I believe it's a three, maybe about a three and a quarter inch um, area to cut on and emboss on. So you can't use the regular size embossing folders and things like that. So there is limitations. But nevertheless, that is my prize for my 5,000 subscribers. What a milestone. I want to thank each and every one of you. So go to the video that says 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Leaving a comment under that video is what will enter you into the drawing. So make sure you go there and enter. You have to be a subscriber. And um, I'll draw the winner next Saturday, and I'm so excited. So anyway, with all that out of the way, today we're going to make what I consider to be a very elegant birthday card. We always need birthday cards, and sometimes you just need a really elegant but simplistic card. And that's what this one's going to be. When I think elegance, I always go to black and white. There is something that's so classic, so clean about a black and a white card. We're only going to be using the Unbound Love stamp set, Sentimental Park dies, and Distress Tile 3D embossing folder. We're also going to be using the Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and that's it. A little glue. Uh, some dimensionals, and this is what we're going to come up with. Isn't that gorgeous? And of course, I, I haven't glued this in yet. Uh, that will be for our sentiment to go inside our card. So let's go ahead and get started on this. We're going to need a card base that is a half a sheet of uh, eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to put this in the 11 inch side at the top of my trimmer, and I'm going to line it up over to five and a half. And what this is going to do is going to cut this sheet of cardstock right in half. So once you get it cut, now we need to do some scoring. And since we're going to be scoring in more than one place, I'm going to bring out my scoreboard. And this is the Simply Score uh, scoring tool. I love this. I'm going to put this into the top left-hand corner. And we're going to score in two places. We're going to score at two and one eight. and at four and one fourth. And then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna fold and then fold this one back. So this is a very standard fold. I'm sure you, if you've made cards, you've made this fold many times. It is a, it is a, um, a fold that we use over and over, but it's also uh, very versatile. Get my bone folder so we can give this a good crease. Just like that. Now we're going to need to cut some white mats to go on here. So I'm going to bring my trimmer back over and I'm going to need a strip that is two inches, you know, one and seven eighths. Let's go one and seven eighths. I 
dot five and a quarter. And this is going to give us a mat for this piece right here. So we're also going to need another piece that same size. It's going to be one and seven eighths. Five and a quarter. And this piece is going to go in here. Just like that. And we're going to need another piece that same size. So one and seven eighths. And let's go ahead and cut one more. That is one and seven eighths. And then we can cut both of these to five and a quarter. And then we'll cut both of these at the same time. And now we have all of our pieces ready for our card. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some embossing. So all four, all three of these, three of these uh, four pieces need to be embossed. So I'm going to lay my card over here. Let's grab our embossing folder and I'm using the Distress Tile 3D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to lay this in on that, see the line that's on the front of your embossing folders. All the stamping up embossing folders will have a line there. Line it up to that line. And then close your folder over on it. And now let's grab our machine. And again, this is the big one. And we're going to need our base plate and our embossing specialty plate number four. And all you're going to do is sandwich this embossing folder between these two plates and crank it through. And then when you take these out, look at that beautiful embossing. So we need to emboss one more of our so this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up right to that middle. And then I'm going to put it back in this way. And run it back through. And we are done with our embossing, but we do need to do some cutting. So I'm going to pull out my number two plate and my two number three plates, which are my cut plates. And we are going to bring up a piece of black. And from those dies that I showed you, the sentimental park, there are some beautiful dies in here. So we're going to pull this one. And then we're going to also use this one. But that's going to be cut out of white. This is the only thing that's going to go out of the black. So let's lay our cut plate. Or one of our number three plates over top of this. And let's run that through. That out of our way. And then we're going to cut some white. So I'm going to kind of push those little specks off and we'll clean that up in a few minutes. But this is our piece. That's our black piece. So now we need some white. 
So I had left over this little white piece right here. This was what was left over from one of the little pieces that I cut. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to slide that through. And that's our little piece that's going to go on to stamp on. And now we're going to need our little flowers. So out of this die set, there's also some of these little flowers. So I'm going to take this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to cut these out. These are tiny little flowers. But I can still use this little piece of cardstock. So I'm going to put these down on here. And we're probably going to cut them twice. So I'm going to lay that over. As I cut my little flowers, I want to lay them over to the side so I don't lose them. And then what I want to do is I want to cut them again. So we'll lay these back on here. I do have one stuck in here, so I need to grab my take your pick tool. And all I gotta do to get that out is just punch into those little holes and that releases our back cut. Okay. So let's pull off our little flowers. Lay those right there. I'm going to lay this back right about there. And we'll run this through one more time. We are done with all of our dark cutting. So now we can go ahead and put the piece together. Before we put this together, let's stamp our happy birthday on the front and I already have my happy birthday and that comes from the unbound love the unbounded love and it's this one right here I love that font it's so pretty so I'm going to grab my Versafine I'm using that instead of Memento and then right in the middle I want to stamp down Happy birthday. And then we're going to do a little work on this piece. So what I'll, all I need to do is punch out all of these little die cut pieces. Really simple to do. They come out really easy. So that side's all out. Oh, one more, two more. Yep, those look good. Now we can come over and work on this one. Just make sure you get all of those out. And then this will lift up and you can slide this in like that and then kind of give it a bend like, like this. And you can slide it in up here. And right down right here. It's so pretty to do it like that because look how it really frames that happy birthday. Now our little flowers are going to come into play because we're going to decorate this using these little flowers. So I cut more than I needed because I want to make sure I had 
Lenny. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the flowers so that the front side is up. You can tell the back from the front just by looking at them. And I'm going to use liquid glue. And I just want to dab a little glue around the area where I'll need to glue the flower to. And I'm going to use my putty end of my Take Your Pick tool to help me put my pieces where I need them. Just like that. And I'll do the same thing to the next one. You just need a tiny bit of glue. It doesn't take much at all. And then one more big one. might be able to put I think we can get a little one right there. Now we're coming up to this side and we're going to put One right here. And There. And let's do one small one right here. And you can see it just takes a tiny, tiny little amount of glue to hook those on. I had three left over, so I'll just push those out of the way. Now we're going to come in with our gems. I really think these gems is what really sets this apart and really um, makes it so very elegant. So I'm going to go into the middle of these flowers and put one of the small basic rhinestone jewels right in the middle of those flowers. Now all we have to do is bring our card back over. With our pieces. Three, four, okay. Now this one is going to go on the front like so. And again, I'm using liquid glue. And I'm going to open this up so I can see exactly where my margins are. You know, I want to get that lined up as nice and even as I possibly can. Don't stress when you're making cards like this. Um, they are handmade. So anything that's handmade is not going to always be as perfect as something that's been stamped out on a machine. So just always keep that in mind and don't be too critical of yourself. Just think that whoever gets this is going to realize that you put time and effort in it, which is a lot different than just going to the store and picking up a card. I always say it's made with love. Now this piece I'm going to come over to here, and this is going to be the piece inside that we're going to have our message on. 
So let's go ahead and glue this piece down first. And now we need um, something we can stamp right there. And from Happiest Day, um, wishing you the happiest birthday would be really cute to put in there. And I think that's the one I'm going to do. So again, we're going to go in with the Versafine Onyx Black Ink. Anytime I'm not doing alcohol coloring and blending um, with my Stampin' Blends, I like to use this ink. So now this piece is going to go right here. So again, we'll put glue on the back of that. Line it up. Like so. Now we're ready to lay this where it belongs, which is right there in the middle. And I'm going to hold my hand right here and know that I only need glue on this side. So I'm going to put glue just like that. And set that down just like so. And this card is done. And how stunning did that turn out? I love it. And when somebody gets it, they can actually display it like this. It will sit up on their desk or on their mantle. And I think the elegance of using the embossing folder, the simplicity of two colors, black and white, and then just using a bit of the rhinestone jewels on it just really does make this card uh, very elegant. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today and how easy it is to throw a birthday card together when maybe you're in a pinch for some time, or maybe you can make some of these up and just set them back. This would be a perfect card for most anyone. Love the way it turned out. I hope you did. Thank you once again for tuning in again for a tutorial here on my channel. If you have not subscribed, please do so. It doesn't cost a dime, and you can go enter that drawing if you want to if you're a subscriber. So that's always a very good thing. Thanks again. God bless and keep you. And as I always say in closing, let everything that you do and say bring honor and glory and praise to our Savior Jesus. He is worthy. So until next time. God bless and keep you. Bye-bye.